Gary, it can be difficult to know what to say after a defeat of, of that manner. Can you just give us your reaction? Yeah, it's embarrassing. It's it's not good enough from from myself, from the staff, from the players. We we have to be so much better. I felt we started the game well. The game plan was working. We were frustrating Bolton and, and growing into the game, and we can see the poor goal where. We don't want them to attack down that side. We lose a man and, and they create an overload and we can see the poor goal from across and from then we, we didn't recover from that and second half was, was nowhere near good enough and we all have to take accountability for it. We all have to stand up in this difficult moment and we have to you know find a way to win a football match on Tuesday. Uh, it's been far too long since we have won a football match in the league and, and like I said, everyone individually has to stand up and make sure that this is rock bottom and, and somehow we, we find a way to get out of it. As you said, first half an hour really, we, we were up against it, but we were, were dealing with what Bolton threw at us. And then as you said in that previous interview, as soon as we go 1-0 down, the heads just drop and, and we look a beaten team. Yeah, it was working. We, we wanted Bolton to attack down the left-hand side. Uh, we frustrated them, we, we gave them very little opportunities, I felt like the stadium was starting to get a bit edgy. We could have been better on possession when we won the ball, I felt like we could have took more possession in their half, we could have counter-attacked better, uh, which you know, I would have took at half time if, if the game remained nil-nil and we could have looked at improving that in the second half, but we can see the poor goal from from losing a man down the right-hand side and, and not defending across them, you know, a well-worked corner from, from their point of view, but disappointing from us. We looked very static and we weren't ready uh, on the front foot to defend it. And then from there, it becomes a difficult game in second half. You know, too many people not, not anywhere near it in terms of getting to the ball, in terms of defending with commitment, not enough tackles, uh, not enough headers defending the box, not, not enough stopping crosses. And when you do that and when you give teams, you know, opportunities to, to put you under pressure and, and score goals, then, then that's what happens. We know there's a good team in here because we saw it at the start of the season where we know we've had wretched luck with injuries, but you know, where has, has that team gone, do you think? I think it's difficult. I think when you go on a run like we are, it, it, you know, confidence obviously gets affected. We have to you know, find a way to, to get over that. We we try everything with, with the players to to build their confidence, build their belief. Like I said, I thought the game plan was working uh, a lot in the first half, but for a bit of quality when we got the ball and, and hurting them a little bit more, but we were very comfortable in the game. And then when goals go in, we, we have to stand up. We said before the game, we want to be a resilient team. You have to be a resilient team if you want to win at this stadium uh, with the form Bolton are in. And, uh, we were the opposite of that uh, at the end of the first half and in the second half and that's something we have to find individually, that's something we have to you know, work on as a group and, and kind of harness that again and I think if we can win a game then, then we can definitely build on that and do that because I do believe in this group of players, I believe there's quality in there, I believe they're in a really difficult moment where it's my job and the staff's job to support them and help them and make sure we come through that and, and start to build again. Conceding goals it is part of football, we all know that, but for you is the concern about how easy we made it for Bolton today? Yeah, it's far too easy and not just in the defensive actions, it's far too easy in, in other aspects of the game. We, we, we don't win enough duels, we don't tackle enough, we don't track runners, uh, you know, so we have to get that bit right and then we also have to defend the box much better than we did, uh, especially in that second half. So. Uh, defensive, well, lots of aspects of our game have to be better, but defensively, we have to build a foundation of, of allowing us to go and win a game from, from getting a clean sheet. You, you have referenced previously the defeat at Ipswich last season as one that will always live with you as a manager. Is this probably one that will probably live with you a little more, given, given the manner of it? Yeah, look, it's never never nice to lose any game of football. To lose 7-0 is, is embarrassing and, and we've let the football club down, we've let the supporters down and, you know, we have to live with that. That's that's happened and we have to live with that today, tomorrow. Uh, but we have to regroup very quickly as well and move on to Tuesday night and, and find a way to come together and, and win a football match. So hopefully this is rock bottom and in, in the run that we're on and we can start to build our way out of it on Tuesday and, and in the coming games. 
the fans at the end, you know, the whole game, they, they tried their best to get behind the team and, and naturally they've vented their frustrations at the end. Does that hurt to see that, to feel that and to hear that? It's never nice, but I'm glad they did. I'm glad the players felt that. I'm glad I felt that because it is nowhere near good enough and we have to do better for them. Uh, they give everything for this football club and uh, whilst it's not nice, then you know it has to live and it has to hurt the players. It has to hurt me and the staff. Uh, and we have to recover tomorrow and, and find a way to do something about it on Tuesday night. And finally, for me, of course, there's a want to put things right on Tuesday. But is there now an expectation from you that, to see that reaction from the players? Yeah, you have to. I, th I said before, you, when you get an opportunity as a player, you have to give it everything and show what you're all about as a footballer, what you're all about as a person. And today, a lot of us have, have let ourselves down. Uh, you know, that's not a crime. That is the reality of football. And we have to. Uh, recover from this and, and find a way to come back on Tuesday night ready to give everything to, to win again and like I said if we can win a game of football and, and start to build that confidence again I do believe in this group of players that we can still have a really successful season. Thanks a lot Gary. Thank you.